Hello, everybody. Um, so today we uh, we're going to visit um, kind of a, a little bit of a simulation is how we've I've kind of structured things. So um, everybody knows about the the exchange issues uh, like vulnerabilities and the huge campaign that happened about a month ago, um, and um, and specifically so Hafnium. Um, so what we've done is uh, we've kind of gone through uh, the documentation that essentially Microsoft put out, right? Uh, I wanted to replicate a little bit, you know, how does one go from um, here's documentation about, you know, a specific campaign or something happening and uh, how would you adapt that and bring that into Lima Charlie and kind of go and do, you know, IR uh, either as part of IR or as part of kind of uh, continuous monitoring. So, um, so that's what I'll do. Uh, I, I'll uh, start by switching over to the documentation that Microsoft put out. We'll go a little bit over, um, you know, what are our options in Lima Charlie. So Lima Charlie, you know, is kind of like the, the Swiss Army knife, right, in a way. So there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can, um, that you can attack a topic like that. So um, we're going to try to see all of the different angles that you could go and get some visibility and detection um, on Hafnia um, from Lima Charm. So in order to do that, I will share my screen. Um, <clears throat> I will share my whole screen. Cool. All right. So uh, let's go over what we're going to do. So, um, so Microsoft put out, um, you know, their, um, their page here with a whole bunch of information updates. Um, and then they go into, you know, various ways that you can detect these things. Um, if we go back here, so what are the tools that are available to us that we'll be able to use? So the first one is the search tool. So this is going to be available for you if um, if you've been deployed on the network for a while, right? So it's it's kind of the historical um, IOCs being able to search through it. Uh, that being said, you know, spoiler here is that uh, the search not going to be super useful here because um, going through the various um, you know the various pieces of information that le that um, that Microsoft put out. Um, we are talking about legitimate processes doing, um, uh, you know, doing suspicious things, but mainly um, dropping web shells. So there isn't a whole lot around kind of um, the execution, like the you know process execution, for us to go and grab onto um, to do an IOC search, because legitimate processes and, and hashes, and then the web shells that were dropped were not, uh, you know, they're not executables, but rather they're going to be served as web shells. Um, the next thing that we have is the payload execution. So that'll be useful because Microsoft put out a whole bunch of, uh, you know, different scripts to do some detection and remediation of the, uh, of the vulnerability. Um, so we'll be able to use the payload execution to run, um, you know, specifically here, what we'll do is we'll, we'll run, um, one of the PowerShell scripts that uh, that they've provided. The next thing we'll be able to do is um, use spot check. So spot check is our ability to go, um, you know, through the Lima Charlie API and go actively on, on on a bunch of hosts and look for things. So we're going to demo um, specifically, like you know, for this example, um, looking for. Uh, the hashes of the various uh, known web shells that uh, that they've dropped. So to go and actively do that on on um, on your fleet, and um, this is by the way something that we're going to be moving in the future into uh, you know providing this directly through the web UI. But you'll see that we'll go through the CLI to do uh, the command line interface to do that spot check. Finally. We're going to look at DNR rules, so detection response rules on Lima Charlie, right? The things that um, that allow you to trigger in real time based on things coming uh, from the endpoints. So specifically, um, there's really three kinds of rules that we're going to do. So there's the um, the process, you know, basic kind of process execution, 
um, Microsoft outlines, and, and I'll show you um, that there's a couple of relationships that are of interest of you know uh, Microsoft processes executing something uh, that they really shouldn't. So we will have rules for that. We will have rules for uh, the live Windows event log. So we had a webinar, I think it might have been the last one, specifically around that. So Lima Charlie now allows you to subscribe to specific Windows uh, event in real time and uh, you know get them all the way to Lima Charlie so you can create rules on Windows event logs in real time. The last one is going to be the, the raw Windows event logs meaning the artifacts. So that's going to be specifically interesting, um, especially if you're doing incident response, right? Uh, it's great to get live Windows event logs, but if the issue occurred in the past, then we're going to want to, um, to actually do that, uh, to do that analysis on the, the, the logs from disk so that we can tell if it happened in the past. Um, so that's going to be kind of the, the, the highlight of all the things that we're going to cover. Um, there's one thing that I will kind of preface the discussion here, which is around characterizing endpoints. Uh, what just happened? Uh, sorry about that. For some reason, it just decided to reload. So um, anyway, around characterizing endpoints. So what I mean by this is that um, we will uh, we'll likely want to target really, uh, you know, Windows servers that run Exchange. Um, you, you probably are dealing with, a, you know, a, a company or another, an organization, maybe with many, many thousands of endpoints. Uh, there's no point in really uh, looking specifically for uh, for exchange vulnerability on you know like some random workstation. So um, I start the discussion here uh, by highlighting um, a simple rule that you can put in place um, that will help you tag all of those servers. So it's really basic, um, but I, I still thought I would kind of highlight it. So um, the rule is simply saying that we're looking for um, existing or new processes. And then either uh, UM worker process.exe or MS exchange worker.exe. Um, there's, you know, there's probably a thousand ways that you could kind of determine that exchange running uh, on there. This just kind of felt like uh, an easy one, especially to demonstrate, you know, how you could do that. The action is uh, simply to add a tag. So to, to tag with exchange. So uh, with that being done, let's say you're coming into an IR. Um, that's going to give you a really, really convenient kind of single, you know, handle thing uh, that you can use um, in things like the spot check or even as part of DNR rules to really target only the boxes that run Exchange and not everything uh, like the, the whole wide net. And it'll do it automatically for you. It really is the nice point instead of having to you know, maybe trust uh, your customer or, you know, whoever is running the final network. And, and we all know that sometimes, you know, people miss stuff in the inventory. So um, in this case, it'll just give you the ground truth. 